This month on The Card Life, presented by AuctionMonthly.com. Let's take the plunge, let's do it. But if we're gonna do it, we gotta go big. Right. We gotta do it right. We love talking to people, talking about baseball, and so he gets to do both of those things with the stand. That's a one-on-one? Wow. The hardest to find out of any of them. That showed me we could literally scan the entire building. Welcome once again to The Card Life, presented to you by AuctionMonthly.com. I'm your host, Matt Strom. We're here in Atlanta for the first time. We have some great sports card stories here and across the state of Georgia. On this episode, we'll introduce you to a couple Georgians who are trendsetters when it comes to the hobby. First, we visit a brand new card shop in Alpharetta, Georgia, that is definitely not your father's LCS. In fact, it sets a new definition for the term modern card shop. Then we'll introduce you to a young collector that has replaced the traditional lemonade stand at the end of his driveway with a card shop. We'll also look through a former pitcher's career in cards and rip some wax. But let's kick things off where I am right now in Alpharetta, Georgia at Giant Sports Cards. Well, I John, unbelievable shop you guys got here. Could you just tell us about what your guys' vision was when you opened the shop? We actually started like so many others uh, back in COVID. Okay. Uh, so I, my background was marketing. I sold a company and um, found myself with a whole lot of time. Serendipitously, my parents were clearing out all this stuff from their house. <laughs> found all your cards. Went down a wormhole way <laughs> too deep. Uh, and here we are, but now so we've been selling sealed wax online since 2020. The local element, and yep. you know, the community, you, you can't get that. Sure, yeah. online is convenient, but yep. there's just always something missing. And it's like, let's take the plunge, and let's do it. But if we're gonna do it, we gotta go big. Right. We gotta do it right. Who I like that. I was like, man, if, if we're gonna be here every single day, too many people in the world dread going to work right. or hate their office, exactly. whatever it is. So teamed up with a bunch of incredible people that, that really helped turn the, the dream into a reality. Um, and here we are. If you build it, they, they will come. come. Many uh, giant yeah. sports cars feel the dreams. Did you guys play a game of wiffle ball before everything was moved in? Man, great question. So the chandelier had already been That was on. already there. And I was like, oh Darn. man, it's like, that's, that's right in the yeah. perfect launch angle. Talk us through the, the vision of how you wanted to display stuff in here. I mean, you got unbelievable display for the jerseys and all your wax, so. We're 3,000 square feet, which is larger yeah. than the normal shop but we still wanted to take advantage of every square foot of it. Yes, right in here we, we got all our uh, custom displays, all, okay. all of our uh, hobby wax just broken out by sport. And then- so what uh, we got here, drawers in between each one? That's right, yes, yeah, so there's something unique. Uh, I certainly haven't seen at a shop, but yeah. it, we, there's too many card shops are just clutter everywhere, right. so did something a little different. And oh, these are all individuals, got, got huh? all these, yeah, so stuff, uh, anywhere from three, three for a dollar cards, uh, okay. and uh, as you go up, then they're uh, that cool. higher and higher, um, and they're all tied into where the wax is. So we got so this basketball, is basketball here, then them. football wax, and football singles. That is cool. um, and they're also built out uh, perfect size. They can hold slabs as well. Oh, sweet. So get a blend. Sweet. Um, so this is, I guess everything you said was custom. You weren't joking. I see all the cards on the floor here. The, uh, the idea behind this were random cards or all selected cards? Yeah, all selected. Okay. Yeah, so the hobby is all about nostalgia. This is largely you know collection of my favorite cards, favorite players from when I grew up and right mix, in, uh, mix in some of the, uh, yeah, the newer see, blood as well. See my rookie card right here? There he that is, really cool. there he is. And you got the Heritage rookie with Dozier too back there. Bam, the yeah, one. one, two. How about so. that? Oh, that's our team. We brought home the ship uh, last fall, so we got the Topps custom card made. That um, is awesome. So like when all the kids on the team come in and uh, I show them that, they lose yeah, their mind. That like, is what? cool. That is yeah, so it's cool. great, man. We've got an arcade for the kids, uh, giving out free cards for them. So the way that we've structured it is you got about three for a dollar on some of those sleeve cards, and then it goes up to maybe like $20 okay. on the drawers. Anything over 20 is gonna be in our slab wall. 35 foot, we have PSA, 
one touch, Beckett, and then back to PSA. Okay. So that's gonna be anywhere from like 20 to 140. Okay. And then people that wanna go over 140, we have these display cases. Many cases. We wanna to appeal to the person that's gonna come in here and spend $5, and the same person that's gonna come in here and spend 14,000 on this. Babe Ruth. Uh, Babe Ruth, this is our holy grail right now. Mickey Mantle, Ty Cobbs, some of the legends, and then we have also the prospects. Yeah. We appeal to our immediate audience with the Atlanta people, but always cycling through new material. We don't want stuff staying, yeah. sitting for too long. Right. Let's see this VIP room you guys have here. All right, then come in here, relax. As you can see over here in the corner, we got complimentary drinks. Right. We have complimentary food. We have all the supplies, needs you can, right you can want. These are all complimentary on the house and a place to kind of come, put on a game, sit here with buddies, rip. Just eat your Cheetos after you open the car. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. the number one rule. Yep. Yep. Do not get Cheetos on no the front doubt. run. No doubt. We had a kid last week say that uh, he would rather go here than Disney World. I love so that. So that, uh, that. that was the quote of the weekend. Everything we wanted to do was custom, outside of the box, something where it was almost like a card shop in 50 years. Right. Rather yeah, than going yeah, yeah. back 50, let's go forward 50 and still have the love of the game though. That's still our heart. Jetson's part. card shop, right? Is right. That what it was? Yeah. There it is. Are you in the business of selling trading cards? Accelerate your trading card business with Ricoh Document Scanners. The best scanners in the business with the widest range of software and service support. Whether you're a card shop or a collector, from raw singles to rare slabs, Ricoh Scanners. Digitize your collection quickly and accurately so you can focus on running your business. Scan more, sell more, do more with Ricoh Document Scanners. An hour and a half north of Truist Park in Jasper, Georgia, Reed Logan has started his career as a hobby entrepreneur from the edge of his driveway. Sit right about there, what do you say? Sure. Okay, lock him in. He was watching a YouTube channel, and on the channel, a guy built a lemonade stand. And he said, Dad, I would like to build a lemonade stand. And I said, okay, that's cool, let's do it. Let's wait for summer. You know, I'm a teacher, so I have summers off. And uh, I said, we'll build one over uh, three, four month period, we sort of talked about what the stand might look like. What might we sell? And uh, I told him, hey, let's sell baseball cards. And he would always help me with my eBay sales. I said, let's sell some of your cards. I've got doubles of a lot of stuff and a lot of cards that people may want. And he was in. So there the two ideas merged, lemonade stand and baseball cards. I kind of like this one, Braves team card. I wanted to have a hobby with him. I remember when I was a kid loving ripping packs with my dad. And I just thought it could be something cool that we would do. And it's something I wanted to do, and I thought he might enjoy it too. He loved baseball. And I just thought those two things might go together really well. And they did. It's, uh, you know, he's always known the Braves players, because you know, we're Braves fans, but now he knows all of the players. He knows all the teams. That is a cool he's, card, buddy. Yeah, he's wearing the right suit. That's right. Rookie card too. I like really collecting them and like, Sorting them out with my dad and the type of cards with him. I like to set like the kind of card they are, like Bowman. I like to sort all the Bowman and Bowman pack. We even got mix packs right here. Yeah, the first time we set up, we had no idea what was going to happen. Uh, I didn't want to publicize it too widely. I didn't really know how it would go. And so we just sat up right here on the corner. Before you know it, people were stopping by. We've met all sorts of people from our neighborhood that we otherwise would not have met and talked baseball uh, with them. He really loves talking to people, talking about baseball, and so he gets to do both of those things with the stand. A lot of people stop by. You never know what somebody's gonna get. I hope that Reed has learned about how this hobby, how this sport can connect people. You know, obviously it connects fans with each other, but it can go a lot deeper than that too. You know, people collect baseball cards for their whole lives. And I certainly hope that he's on that journey and that it's something he gets a lot of fun from, a lot of interest, and hopefully a lot of meaning. I also think that he's probably learned a lot about business. I certainly think that he has learned about the value of time, the value of effort, how having a plan and seeing it through can pay off. 
and not just monetarily. It can be fun. It can be meaningful to try to start a business. That's the awesome thing about this hobby, is that anybody can do it at any age. It's something that can keep you together. Thankfully, right now, Reed is with me, but when he gets older and moves off to college, uh, I can just imagine him, you know, video calling me. Hey, Dad, you know, I got a box. Uh, let's open it. Sharing those meaningful moments and collecting, providing a lot of those moments. as passionate fans and collectors. Now we've started a giant movement that makes you the MVP. Built on GOAT level service, a game-changing online shopping experience, and the hottest cards at the lowest prices. The ultimate collector's cave, our modern day retail experience. Open now in Alpharetta, Georgia. GiantSportsCards.com. More from Atlanta later in the show, but let's first take a closer look at some exciting technology in the sports card hobby. So we've been hearing from some of our viewers about their, uh, their like in the digital field of cards here. We were fortunate enough that Candy reached out and sent us some packs to share with you guys. So we're gonna dive into the digital world here a little bit and see what we can unpack here on Candy. We're gonna start here with MLB Rookie Icon packs. All right, let's see. So the emblems here will tell you how rare each card is. Core is a common. So let's start with the core here. All right, let's see the uncommon. We got Bryce Harper. So it's his Nationals rookie. These look pretty cool. We got 22 second clip. That was really cool. Show you the average pricing. Oh, well, this is kind of cool. Ooh, we got a legendary. Let's do the core first. Estrue Rees. Him and I were traded from Kansas City to San Diego together. And then the uncommon, we have Yoshida. It's gotta be a good one. For the rare, we got Zach Nito. That's a good one. And our legendary, Tristan Casas. That's a 101. Wow. That is unbelievable. That is really cool. Candy is offering Card Life viewers an MLB pack to start their collection. Scan this QR code or visit go.candy.com slash cardlife. We also heard from a lot of viewers after last month's feature on scanning and organizing collections. Here's a look at how Burbank Sports Cards use of Rico scanners have made a huge difference for their business. We get pallets of cards that come in. Any kind of sport that has cards, we carry it, whether it's vintage or modern. Just a tremendous selection of cards in here. For years, scanning cards was a nightmare. You'd have to put it on a flatbed, you scan it, zzz, turn it over, zzz, now we have to crop the card. So that's always been the major pain point, especially for us with the millions of cards that we have. When I first got the machines, I wasn't here. My guy, George, who does our tech things, got the machine in and I called him, well, how'd the machine work out? He goes, Rob, I was able to process a whole 1981 top set in 14 minutes. It would have taken hours, if not all day to scan it before. Now it was 14 minutes. That showed me that we could literally scan the entire building. The machines are wonderful. What's great about the sports card community is it's passion, it's just, it's sports, it's money, it's community, it's being able to show off what you own. And what I tell people all the time is, we sell memories. Hey card collectors, looking for deals on sports cards? Well, it's time you've heard about Pristine Auction. PristineAuction.com is the most trusted site for sports cards. 
You can win authentic cards at affordable prices with daily auctions starting at just a dollar. It's free to register, free to bid, and auctions are ending right now. So head over to pristineauction.com and sign up with the promo code for $10 off your first win. Turn this into this at auctionmonthly.com, a better way to sell your sports cards, memorabilia, and collectibles. Our white glove service from start to finish will help you evaluate and sell your entire collection. Turn your sports cards and collectibles into cash. Get started right now at auctionmonthly.com. We grew up as passionate fans and collectors. Now we've started a giant movement that makes you the MVP. Built on GOAT level service, a game changing online shopping experience. And the hottest cards at the lowest prices. The ultimate collector's game, our modern day retail experience. Open now in Alpharetta, Georgia. GiantSportsCards.com. Will at Card Belts wants to help you get started on your holiday shopping. Between now and the end of November, you'll receive 10% off your entire order when you use code CARDLIFE at checkout. Every belt is handmade in Colorado using actual baseball, football, basketball, or hockey cards. A card belt is the perfect gift for the sports fan in your life. Choose their favorite team or their favorite player. Every single belt is one of a kind and there is always free shipping. Shop cardbelts.com today. Great cards to your collection at pristineauction.com, where over 10,000 sports card auctions end every week. Use the promo code THECARDLIFE and get $10 off your first auction win. Back here at Giant Sports Cards with John. We're going to rip some Topps Tribute and some Bowman Chrome. Maybe find a Babe Ruth first Bowman in there. Let's do it. Bryce, you know that guy? Can get a John Hancock on that thing. <laughs> no Lingorma. Uh oh. Redemption. Uh oh, we got That's some blue. Be good. Do you know the redemption? You, you call it. I have no idea. You call it. Probably some 16 year old, right? Oh, hey, there Boom! You go. Juan Soto. Oh, Mr. Juan Soto. Chrome autograph. Let's go. All right, Juan. We're waiting on it. Yeah. Corbin Carroll, not a bad rookie card. Another Harper. There we go. Gunnar Henderson. Those things are sick. Yeah, they are. I think they should make that the case hit, honestly. It came to the league. I love those things. I just think it's like a really cool design. Chris Bryant. There's our auto. Trey yeah. Fulton to 499. Refractor. He doesn't uh, waste too much ink, does he? No. Almeida. There we go. There Ethan it is. Salas, Mr. Ethan Salas. Nice. Not the worst box I've seen. Pops tribute. This is one of my favorite as well. The quality of the cards too. They just feel oh, yeah. feel expensive. Uh, Bo Bichette. Corbin Carroll rookie. Card. Nice. Not many rookie cards in there. Auto. Nice little try. try patch. I think he's one of the more underrated guys out there. He just don't get the love he deserves from the hobby. Vaughn Grisham, that's not a bad one. Hey, there you go. Atlanta. Atlanta boy. It's a 150. Nice. Another nice auto, too. Love it. You take a peek first. I mean, it's not a bad one. He's wearing pinstripes. There we go. Swaldo it's to 75. See that's rookie. an autograph right there. Yeah, there you go. Good job, boss Waldo. Yeah. Right on. Good deal. Iron Guard Supplies is the official card supply provider of the card life. Use promo code CARDLIFE 
at ironguardsupplies.com for 20% off and free shipping on your order of over $100. Cover your bases with Iron Guard Supplies. Ever wonder what your cards are worth? Snap a photo of your cards. Get the value in seconds. Build your collection. Buy and sell. Level up in the hobby. It's time to unbox your love of the game. Presented by Giant Sports Cards. Eight-year-old Bennett from Alpharetta ripped a box of 2023 Cosmic Chrome at Giant Sports Cards. Oh, dude. Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. How many, how many of those are, were made? 25, and this is the 20th one made. How about that? Would you sell that card to Matt Strom? Uh, no, I don't well, think so. Mike Ooh, Trout. Mike Trout. Nice, Again. dude. Congrats on the hits, oh. Bennett. Thank you, Giant Sports Card, for letting me unbox my love of the game. Unbox your love of the game at GiantSportsCards.com. Glendon Rush is a Seattle native who pitched 12 seasons in Major League Baseball for the Royals, Mets, Cubs, Padres, Rockies, and Brewers. In the Mets' 2000 postseason run to the World Series, Rush pitched in six games and allowed just one run in eight and a third innings. We sat down with Rush to talk about his baseball cards and his career in a new feature called My Cardboard Timeline. Oh yeah, I remember that one and then uh, I think the maybe the 94 uh, Fleer XL was another one that was, they, those both came out, that was like the team issued card and then the Fleer XL and I remember I thought it was the coolest thing in the world to actually have my own card. Off-speed sorcerer, I like that. Yeah, I remember uh, Bob Hagman was our minor league director and he used to say that I could throw my fastball in a teacup. I had good enough command. That was, that was a nice compliment uh, Hagee gave me back then. Yeah, that was my first ever start in interleague play at Wrigley Field. I'll never forget, I was late, obviously, as you can see in that swing but I hit the ball pretty hard to third and Jose Hernandez made a good play on it and threw me out at first. But you know, off the bat, I was thinking, oh, I might have my first big league hit. Yeah, really cool car. Kids see that one all the time and, and love talking to me about it. They're like, hey, why didn't you get the head out a little better? Why are you so late? You know, they love messing with me. When I got traded to the Mets at the end of 99, I was there for their run where they, you know, ended up losing in the NLCS to the Braves, but I wasn't eligible to be on the playoff roster because of a, a late trade. And then the following year for us to come back and have such a great team and for me to get an opportunity to be in the rotation and, and be in that World Series was incredible. Anytime that you turn the baseball card over and the print gets smaller and smaller and smaller because you've got a lot of years under your belt, that's probably the biggest compliment I could have. And the thing that I'm most proud of is being around a long time, pitching a lot of innings, um, for for not being that big of a strikeout guy to, to at some point get over a thousand strikeouts, I thought was pretty amazing and a pretty cool accomplishment, pretty cool experience. My first Bowman, this one was pretty cool. I sent into uh, SGC and got a 10. I had to go I, I, want, I ripped through my whole stack of those uh, that I had stashed away and hoped that I could pick a 10, and I did. And then and then this was the first ever, this is the Bowman's best, uh, first ever PSA 10 that I ever had in my own card. And I, I think this one might be a population one, because I don't think anybody was uh, knocking down doors to get that one graded. This was the one that was the hardest to find out of any of them. Uh, hopefully you can see it, you can see it good. That is, that is from the 2000 World Series set. They did a complete set with Yankees and Mets, and then each complete set came with one fanfare token card. And I could never find mine, and I randomly looked on eBay one day, and a guy had a whole set on there, a complete set. And so I sent him a message 
And he messaged me back and said, you're never going to believe this. He goes, I have two of yours. And so he, he was the nicest guy. He just said, he goes, I can't believe you're searching for your own card. And, and this is, uh, I'm more than happy. I sent him my address and he sent it to me. And uh, I, I was in amazement.